Why does the government encourage entrepreneurship? Here are some undisputed issues that are facing many national governments, emerging as well as established. The total number of youth coming into the workforce every year far exceed the number of jobs created by the established sector unless absorbed productively, these youth can be a negative force. The demographic trend can turn into a nightmare. If simply being in business was sufficient, Haiti would be the richest nation on earth. Everyone there is in business. The key is for business to create wealth by creating businesses with jobs and surpluses to pay nation-building taxes and capital. More startups are created after a crisis. After the 2008 financial crisis companies that were formed include Airbnb, Pinterest, Uber, Square and Slack. COVID-19 is the most serious crisis of this century. Augurs the imminent restructuring of the global order at a scale never before. The gig worker as well as entrepreneur will be in great demand to lay the foundation of the inevitable, new normal. Even before COVID-19 crisis, structural shifts were already in play. Now the resisting forces will be decimated by this crisis. Oh automation oh clean energy oh education reform oh healthcare reform oh etc. Businesses, worldwide, of all sizes are already facing, or about to face, major disruptions due to automation, supported by seven emerging technologies. These are AI, 3D printing, augmented reality, blockchain, IoT, smart robots, and intelligent vehicles. They have been identified by an expert panel from TechCast Global, a research corporation outgrowth of George Washington University. Oh these new technologies, like other previous technology trends will propel the growth and success of the next generation. Now to answer your question, why does the government encourage entrepreneurship? Actually, any entity kink government in a country owns everything and the legal natural persons have a license deed of use and collecting a fee. Legal natural persons are encouraged to make the maximum income for the entity taxes. Presumably in a democracy, the only time they would like to limit the take is when they stand to lose a greater number of voters. So really there is a distinct between the elected governors, representatives, senators, president, and the for-profit and non-profit entities for providing those services. The problem is when there is collusion between these elected governors and either the profit or non-profit. Dot. And here I submit the non-profit includes our so-called government, really government is separate from the elected. What kind of a question is that? Why wouldn't it? To be sure, the govet doesn't encourage entrepreneurship, its real job is to preserve our opportunity to start a business. Know this, the spirit of entrepreneurship is at the core, and is the very essence of American exceptionalism. Entrepreneurship if done right provides employment, wages, and profits that aggregate capital. All of these things are desirable and therefore encouraged by governments, particularly non-communist and non-socialist governments. Entrepreneurship done wrong teaches people lessons lessons very quickly that they will presumably learn from, and that will lead them to better decisions in the future.